Your friend is buying a new car for the first time. What advice would you give? Since I am for the environmental protection and against big oil companies, I would advise him to buy an electric car. First of all, electric cars may cost more, but they are inexpensive to operate. I live in Serbia. According to the prices of gasoline and electrical energy here, energy required for an electric car costs 10 times less than energy required for a gasoline car. Secondly, if more and more people, people are buying electric cars, then big oil mafia and conservative car industry will tumble. Unfortunately, that won't be good for people who work there, but on the long run, it will be a powerful incentive for people to develop and use more sustainable means of transportation. It is for these reasons I would advise my friend to buy an electric car. Your friend has an opportunity to work at a job that pays well and could advance his career. But it is in a country that has had some political and civil unrest recently. What advice would you give? My advice to him will differ depending on that for whom or what he will work. If he is going to work for a government institution or an organization or some other company which aim is to help people, advance living standards or explore new findings in science, then I would advise him to take the job. However, if he will work for some corporation which aim is only to take more money from people and then dislocate it into some offshore banks, then I would advise him to quit. I will certainly not advise him to work for a private military contractor, an oil company, a bank or some similar muggers. Depending on these facts, my advice will differ. Your friend's sister has asked for some music lessons but your friend doesn't know what instrument she should study. What advice would you give? Ultimately, that will be a personal choice, but there are a lot of factors that go into this. If she's just starting to play some instrument, then maybe it is best to start with, with the piano. It will give her tremendous understanding of music theory because of visual factor. Also, if she does not have a real preference, then the piano will be a great foundational instrument. Later, when she learns the basics, she should do some soul searching and ask herself which orchestral section she prefers the most. She should make a list of, of the top five instruments she is interested in and rank them by order of her interest. Next to each instrument, she should write why she finds it interesting. Your friend is struggling in a math course and he does not understand the work any better after his meeting with the professor. What advice would you give him? I would suggest him to watch some educational videos on YouTube. Personally, YouTube has helped me a lot, especially when I was doing research on PhD studies. I needed some things related with mathematics, but I have never listened about those things during former classes at school. There are a plethora of educational videos on YouTube related to all scientific areas. Besides that, it's often not just one video or one lecture about some subject. You can search through many videos and channels and find a lecturer whose teaching style suits you the most. 
Also, you can repeat a lecture as many times as you want. It is for these reasons I would recommend him to watch lectures on YouTube. Your friend is studying engineering and has room for one extra course in her schedule. What sort of course would you recommend she take and why? Mathematics is a very important tool when it comes to engineering, so I would suggest her to take an additional math course. Mathematics and engineering are very closely related to one another. Higher courses in mathematics are especially important if you are planning to sign in for PhD studies in engineering. You cannot prove your claims in a research paper without using math. If she does not want to learn too much theory related with mathematics, then she can take a course related with software that is used for solving mathematical problems like Wolfram Mathematica, MATLAB or MapleSoft Maple. Those programs can be very useful for doing all kinds of things and solving all kinds of problems. For these reasons I would recommend her to take an additional math course. Your friend wants a pet, but has never owned one before, and doesn't know what to choose. What advice would you give and why? I would advise my friend to get a tortoise. A tortoise will probably give him fewer headaches than other high-maintenance pets. They are easy to care for, don't require exercising, and their preferred diet is easy to source. Also, they do not eat too much, so expenses for that are going to be very low. With the correct diet and habitat, veterinary problems are rare. Also, tortoises have long lifespan, so it will probably going to outlive him. Accordingly, chances for his tortoise to die just after a few years after he got it are very low, so he will be spared from grief for his pet. It is for these reasons I would advise my friend to get a tortoise. Your friend is interested in developing a new hobby but does not have much money. What would you recommend and why? If I had a friend who is interested in developing a hobby that does not require material investment, I would suggest him to start writing fan fiction stories. There is a growing number of people who like to read fan fiction stories. Because recently there were many TV series that were ruined by unfortunate events written in their screenplays. So by writing fan fiction stories he will probably make many people happy. Furthermore, some fiction writers who became published authors have said that writing fan fiction in a fandom community helped enormously to improve their writing, so maybe this hobby can make him a good published author one day. For these reasons I would recommend him to start writing fan fiction stories as a hobby.